DNA is a genetic map of each individual. DNA databases are a collection of genetic profiles stored as short tandem repeats that are a pattern of short nucleotide sequences repeated over and over again. The NDNAD is the United Kingdom National DNA Database which was first set up in 1995 to be used as an intelligence tool in forensics and law enforcement. As of now, 2012, the database stores profiles of approximately 6 million people and is gradually growing. The profiles of individuals aged 25 to 34 constitute the largest percentage of profiles stored on the database. By far, the UK has the largest DNA database per capita. The law enforcement in the UK uses the 10 STR Law Site Identification System for matching and profiling unknown samples. Currently, the profiles of 1.5 million innocent people are kept on the database. DNA databases act as a deterrent to prevent people from reoffending. Despite numerous claims, there is no significant lowering of crime rates associated with storing DNA profiles of innocent people. From a professional perspective, Change in the legislation back in the early 2000s allowed the police to go out and uh, take DNA swaps off people, anybody they arrested irrespective of whether they were being uh, charged with an offence or convicted. The European Court of Human Rights uh, in December 2008 ruled that this was illegal. Um, in fact, the UK Supreme Court, much more recently, came to the same conclusion. I don't think innocent people should really be on the database, but that kind of causes a dilemma about who's, who's innocent, because criminals, before they're criminals, are suspects. Before the suspects, they are innocent members of the public. The profiles of 80% of juvenile black males are kept on the UK DNA database. Statistics show that black people are six times more likely to be stopped and searched with the purpose of profiling their DNA. The data shows that 27% of total black population has been profiled. Nonetheless, the Home Office data shows that black people have lower offending rates than their white counterparts. Ethnic minorities are overrepresented on the, the National DNA Database, that's a criminal investigation database. Um, the figures I've heard from Diane Abbott, who should know what she's talking about, is that more than 80% of juvenile black males are now on that database. So that's blatant discrimination. Uh, there is evidence that police in the past, not so distant past, have been encouraged to go out on the streets and arrest people simply to get a DNA swap to get them on the database. In all of the justice system there's institutional racism, police focus on black crimes, racialised crimes like mugging and gang crime. There's another issue, and that is that your genome is not yours. To have your genome sequenced immediately has implications for your close relatives. Mm. Yep. So your genome is not your personal property. You share half with your mum, half with your dad, half with your brother, half with your sister, and so on. Um, I think any information held by big institutions like government or any big um, institutional body should kind of have uh, a rel um, an element of transparency. The medical applications of the DNA databases are as follows. So the question is to what extent would it make sense, for example, for the National Health Service to have access to your total genome sequence uh, as part of your medical records to be able to make predictions about future disease liability and so on. Now, I Bearing in mind that none of us is genetically perfect, we all carry mutations and defects and so on. Uh, I think that that is a potentially very dangerous and scary route to go down. <music> DNA does not carry the words innocent or guilt written into it.